I can remember at the introductions of both the Jeep Cherokee and Renegade, many wondered if they'd live up to Jeep's off-road prowess. But with the introduction of the Trailhawk, those concerns were pretty much put to bed. While at FCA's Winter Drive event, I learned about some of the hardware that helped these vehicles earn their trail-rated badges for completing the Rubicon Trail. Up front is the Power Transfer Unit, or PTU, which bolts to the transaxle and provides a method to drive the front wheels and send power to the rear axle. To help improve efficiency, a shift sleeve can couple and decouple power to the rear of the vehicle. Unique to the Cherokee Trailhawk, when in Active Drive 2 or Active Drive Lock mode, a mechanical planetary reduction gear is activated. This multiplies torque and reduces speed to the front axle for crawling over rocks. Moving to the back, we'll find what the company calls a rear drive module, or RDM. Among the typical bearings and gears, it also houses the clutch pack that when activated by a hydraulic servo unit, allows the clutches to open for two-wheel drive mode or close to modulate torque in four-wheel drive. The clutch pack was also relocated from the typical pinion yoke location to be in line with the ring gear for better weight distribution. As with the front PTU, a mechanical planetary reduction gear is unique to the Cherokee Trailhawk in the rear RDM, as is a mechanical locking rear axle. And once out on the course, you can really start to understand what the engineers were talking about in all those presentations, diagrams, and cutaway models.